Why should I have to take in all that profanity that they put out there? Why should I have to take that in? What Desuna tells us to do is we have eyes. We have the eyes of our head, our physical eyes, and we have the eyes of our heart, our spiritual eyes. Natural, spiritual. It always comes down to this, that natural and the spiritual. So the eyes, to protect the eyes of the heart, I have to protect the eyes in my head. Do you see? And so he goes on to, to explain two different kinds of recollection. And then he gives some really practical advice. I'm going to read some of the practical advice. But just to sum up a little bit of the, um, the two different kinds of recollection, he says there's general recollection and then there is special recollection. The special recollection, I'll get back to, but it's kind of like what we talked about last time with our meditations, right? Being in the presence of God. Of course, he's talking about it in a different way. Our meditations, we're, we're pondering, we're having a, a holy rumination on the things of God. With special rec rec recollection, we're spending alone time with God. We're being there with God. But first, general recollection. The first consists, the general consists of an understanding we must hold as securely in our heart as we grip the reins to restrain a, a runaway horse. The runaway horse. That's us with all the, the, all the stuff that's always coming in that we're usually just letting in by just looking at all this stuff. It's good. I'm just keeping, I'm just looking at stuff for my family. I'm just talking to my friends. I'm just, I'm not doing anything bad. Uh, all that stuff. And then it just kind of takes off. The men with all that media that you watch, um, like I was saying, I, uh, for a while there, I was trying to look at the media because I felt like I, I had a duty to, to fill in my community on what was going on in the world. But then during the rosary, I'm thinking about Joe Biden falling down on a flight of stairs trying to get on a plane. And I'm thinking, you know, you pray for him. But you pray for him, but I shouldn't be having images of this, the nonsense that we see, you know, that the media is putting out there and all this. It's just, it's just a circus. It's, the, it, it's, it's hatred of your neighbor. It's, uh, the, the whole thing's just a mess. Yeah, but I have to stay informed. What, what's the information that I have? Uh, if in the end I show up at heaven's door and the only thing in my mind is all that stuff, the, this election stuff and the, the communism they're pushing on us and the vaccine. And I mean, to, I had to look up something yesterday for something. I was and immediately this thing pops up about COVID, how many cases there are in Kentucky. You're like, what is this? This is just nonsense. I mean, it's, it's just chaos. It's, just, it's constantly to make you, to keep you completely thinking about something else. We have a goal and that stuff has nothing to do with our goal. We want to go to heaven. We want to be saints. And that stuff has nothing to do with it. And we focus all of our energy on it. So this is that, that it, when we let that information in there, even for a good reason, we let that information in for a good reason. Now you've got to hold on to that thing for dear life. And it's going to buck you off just like a Bronco. I don't know if and most of you have probably never ridden a bull, but some of you have probably ridden one of those electronic bulls, maybe at a, a fair or um, out there in Idaho, I remember when I was, I was out there as a young uh, uh, professional, they had one at a bar there they took us to. And it was great. You know, you're trying to hold on. But that's what our thoughts become. They just, they, they, you, you're, you're holding on for dear life and it's a game. This is where Osuna's is saying, you've got to take the reins and you've got to get that horse under control. The only way you can get that horse under control is to calm it down. For us, that's that we have to calm down all the stuff that's coming in. That's recollection. We got to get rid of it. So that means you can't let it come in. General recollection is keeping all that information from coming in. So you can stay focused on what your goal is. He'll get to it. He has some beautiful things to say. I'm going to read a couple of things here. This general recollection is our way of going continuously alert with our hearts pacified. See, one of the reasons I told the brothers, I'm not looking at the news anymore, and they can, you know, they can, the families or whoever can accuse me of not keeping them informed, because I have a right to a spiritual life too. I don't have to, 
uh, it's not my job to be telling them what's going on in the world because it affects me. And you lose your peace, you, you, you lose your serenity, and you can't restrain that wild horse anymore. He calls it here, a heart pacified and sealed, caring not for human things. The news is all human things. But if I don't watch the news, I don't know what to pray for. You don't need to know what to pray for. You just need to pray. God will, if you pray and you pray sincerely, things will change. Our Lady does it with those graces as she wants to. Your knowledge doesn't necessarily affect that, right? If you're mortifying yourself for the love of God, and that's why you don't know what to pray for, Our Lady's going to be that much more pleased because you're striving for God that much more. And she's going to use your prayers appropriately. You can just, you can bet on that one. The first stone, he says, must be set in the edifice of recollection is the spiritual emptying. Now, this isn't Zen Buddhism stuff. There's a, a beautiful soul cleaning the church yesterday, and he heard us pray in Compline. He said, that put me like in a Zen. I mean, uh, it, it was uh, beautiful. <laughs> he didn't know. I mean, so I'm walking back to the house. Zen. I don't even really know what that is. So anyways, but that emptying of self, that nirvana, I think is kind of what they're getting at. Nirvana is uh, entering into nothingness. This is the, the great sacrament of Buddhism, nothingness. So the spiritual emptying whereby we realize that the heart has no other task. Note this. If you're taking notes, I want you to note this. It has no other task than to approach God. That's your job. Your heart has no other task than to approach God. You don't have a duty to know about what the new nonsense is about the vaccine. What the new nonsense is about whatever it is they're talking about.